be back, and those numbers say everything you need to know about our next guest, two-time All-American, member of the 1996 Olympic team, which won a gold medal, played in the ABL, played in the WNBA, and is now, as he said earlier, getting her chops as a head coach. Jennifer Razy joins us now, the coach of the women USF Dons. And uh, Jennifer, let's first of all talk about the, the state of the team. Great improvement from last year to this year, and I know that's got to please you. Oh, huge improvement, and that's the thing that we focused on, you know, even from when we took over the program, that we can't get caught up in the win-loss record as you're building. And, you know, I'm really pre pleased with where we are this season, and we're playing mostly uh, freshmen and, and sophomores, so they're getting great experience. We still have, you know, good leadership in our seniors right now, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the progress for sure. And you come off a really good win on the road at BYU, and now you get three games at home, so a chance to really kind of get things jump-started here. Definitely, and, you know, our, our fans have been picking up, and, and I think they're liking what they see on the floor so you know the more fans in the building the better and I'm excited about three games at home how are you liking it you know I I go back to a conversation I had a million years ago with Willie Mays and I asked him about would you ever coach he said no I would never coach because I would expect every player to be able to do what I did is there any of that going on with you you know, I think when we'll see the program really turn around is when the players do want it as badly as I do and, and our staff does. And, you know, there are days when we want to, you know, kind of jump out there and, and, and maybe show them, um, you know, kind of the passion and energy that maybe we had as players. But, you know, it's it's their team, and, and we can we can show them the game. We can teach them. But the passion really has to come from them, and we're seeing that, especially in, you know, Taylor Proctor, Janae Dykes, and our freshmen and, and, and kind of the new the new blood that's come in here to USF. And I think that's ignited our, our upper class. As well. And the conference itself is very, very good. Gonzaga has been very good for a long time. A lot of teams like yourself, which I suppose is good news and bad news, are getting better and better. Oh, definitely. I mean, it, 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 you're one of the top conferences in the country, and people don't realize that about the WCC. And, you know, so it's a tough conference to be in. And, you know, we did extremely well in the preseason, and the conference is definitely tougher now. So, um, But as we get better, we're going to get more and more wins in the conference. Well, Jennifer, you've done a great job here. I know it was a really tough year for you last year. Things are really improving here. Thank and you. I, I can't wait to see you a couple of years from now. We'll, we'll be talking championships a couple I of hope years from so. Now. Thank you very much. That's, That's the goal. Jennifer Azey, a great player, and now uh, becoming a great basketball basketball coach to learn at the knee of the master of course Tara Vanderveer one of my favorite folks down at Stanford there's a look at what college life was all about for Jennifer Azey it's a long way from Tennessee